And we now have 2,000 artillery, so we can definitely start playing around with some artillery in our frontline infantry forces. This does beg the question, though, of what template do we ultimately want? 24 combat width? That would be a 40 organization infantry unit. Massive amount of damage, but they won't hold out for very long. Hills are 20. Combat with planes we know are 30. Forests 42 or 21. And probably. Well, attacking into the US, we want big templates. Attacking into China, we want small ones. So if we wanted to have the full size, it would be 42. Which would also work in the plains. Would also work in the hills. Won't work very well in... Pacific, though. Twenty seven is optimal. Well, we can go for twenty eight, which I think is actually what we are now, isn't it? Let's do that. We're now an infantry specialist. Ah, we got the hockey. It's right, Canada. We got hockey. It's, it's it's ready. I would like to have another five percent special forces capacity. Yes, please. Bama wants me to drink some tea. I think I can do that. I think I can do that. And here we go. We can get the art. No, we want the elusive gentleman so we can get the extra spy going. You're supposed to be spying on China. I can spy on China there. Oh, but you lost any, damn it. Because I didn't have you placed for so long. Yeah, honestly, compliance is rising so quickly, even without people there. I think we'll be fine. Naval mission efficiency. Take it, because we're going to be fighting at sea. T is the most important equipment in war. I would definitely not disagree. I think at this point, I basically just want to end it with China. I'm not going to worry too much about occupation rate, because that seems to be rising very quickly anyway. So if I manage to get the influence to do a collaboration government, fine. If I don't, then fine. Because I can just give it all to Manchuko, which was my initial plan anyway. 1941, that's more industry. Let's get that going. We are full fuel, we are buying in too much. We will reduce from the Soviets again, I think.
Yugoslavia has joined the Allies, and we have linked up down here again. Yeah, I don't think Yugoslavia is going to survive for very long. And then it's the big old attack against Barbarossa. And then I need to start planning my attacks into Dutch East Indies, Philippines, and then ultimately the US. flow through this bit. So we'll send the marines over there to hopefully be a bit more useful. And your attack seem to have stalled somewhat, so hold off. China's down to nine factories. They do still, however, have about a hundred divisions, though. They've lost three million to my 1.3. <laughs> wow, I was not wrong when I said Yugoslavia won't last for very long. They really didn't. Naval department, because we're going to need that. We're going to need all of the departments, really. And then we'll have our three spies. And in fact, we should probably get Spymaster. There's no real reason not to. Guiying is currently the capital. Yeah, and worth three. And Kanding's worth one. Taking those two might be enough to end this. Um, I think I'm going to... Secure the Philippines, then prepare for the strike in the southern resource area. The Philippines are a necessary base on the way to our true goal. We must secure it for further military operations. There we go. Green, 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 green. And yes, I will definitely accept your artillery. Thank you. Okay, our medium tanks are dying in droves. And I'm not too happy about that, so I'm going to pull my armor off now completely. And then we're going to put the greens down here. Well, hopefully they meet the same success that they met elsewhere, and they have got the highest supply consumption reduction. So hopefully they're able to do this, and then we'll put the purples here, although we can reduce your line to maybe half of what it is. And then the yellows to there. Good. Doing something dramatic. Let's see if we can turn the supply situation around a bit here. If you leave big openings like that, you're never going to do it, are you? No, sir!
Oh, ha! Didn't realize I had those set to repeat production. Um, we have apparently just built two new aircraft carriers. We've got two of the Oda Nobunaga's done. With their, uh, what was it, 75 aircraft capacity? Heck yeah. And we have a bunch of escort destroyers that should be going into you. And I need five of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. To go there. And then I need one, two, three of you to start a new one. Because the objective here is that we have got 20 destroyers in you. 20 destroyers in you. And now this is actually behaving properly. So what I can also do here is say I want 20 destroyers in here. I called it save, I meant to call it destroyer. No, escorts. He's the escorts. Duh. Okay. Is Hainan being ignored? No, we're building stuff. We mean this. Uh, yes. That's Taiwan, isn't it? That's Hainan. Sorry! Um... If and when this guy escapes, I'll send you down there. He is a motorized, he should be able to do that pretty quickly. Collaboration government, there it is. I need network strength of 50. secured. Evil Snowball, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? How was your game going? And then I think I also want to get another four of those in training. And I suspect... We actually have enough support equipment now to probably... Give these guys logistics. Yeah, we do. And the marines. And the tanks. And the motorized. Now that's going to make a big difference for our supplies here on the frontier. Although they need to be fed out to our army, of course. Strap bombing, because I want that interception detection. Army department's going to be done in seven days. That's good. It is still 1941. I would like this. And I think I should also start, like, even though I'm currently fighting against China, I should start thinking about how I want to go after the Allies. Particularly if I'm going to bring in this collaboration government. I mean, a lot of this can probably be achieved by you and by these guys. Most likely the motorized rather than the tanks. The tanks are mostly there so that I can go after the USA. And honestly, for that, I think I want a couple more of these cheap guys to keep protecting my rear. So we're going to have three full armies of regular infantry and then several of small garrison infantry. Yes. 
And then one army of just completely mixed random stuff. We're at 45. Air Force Department. More radar. And we still need to research the more modern tank. Must not forget to do that. Let's, in fact, get that now. We should also get amphibious tanks. That's another good point. 48. Couple more days. Now we're starting to get a Marine Corps together. That's more like it. 12 under construction, we will have 20. 20 Marines! And these are not small units. 32 combat with Marines. 20 of them. Heck yeah. And those Marines have been very effective so far. Nobody's pushing at the moment, although the North probably could be. You attack. You attack. See what they can do. And they're trying to push against me down here. Communist threat is still receding, everyone. There it is. Collaboration government. It'll take 60 days to do? Is that what that's saying? 90 days to prepare, then... So it's 150 total. So we definitely do want to be preparing something for going southwards. And I think that Malaya is going to be the first place to fall. So let's have you assigned to Saigon for the moment. And they don't have a coast. They have not had a coast for some time. Huzzah! And there it is. Secure the Philippines is done. So now we can strike at the southern resource area. The time has come to set our plan in motion. We will strike south and take the resource-rich western colonies for ourselves. Insane Flapjack, thank you very much for the 20-month primary subscription. Very much appreciate that ongoing support there. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're getting high resistance from somewhere. Except not... Really? And what is Manchuko's... ...thing looking like? Still exists, but that's about it. Yeah. Of course, we're rubber neutral. Uh, we are still needing to buy an aluminium, though. Although there is a focus for that, and I think we can also... ...try to find more. Okay, a couple more marines. Which we'll assign to Mr. Marines himself. And in fact, I think we are going to just go ahead and start designing our naval strike. So we're definitely going to go for Singapore. And then I think we need to strike out over here. And here. So we'll take the British possessions first, then I think we'll go for the 
Dutch ones. So three of you for Singapore. Two of you for Kuala Lumpur. Two of you for Kotobaru. That's that's everyone, I think. Yeah, two of you we can't assign because we don't have the technology for the big attack. So that is something else we will need to research is big attacks. So we're still in the preparation phase, using up a ton of civilian factories. Wait, were you seriously using up 14? Wow, 14 civilian factories to get that collaboration government in China. Let's get some more excavation. We could also do some more f uh, fuel refining. Uh, happy insert appropriate festival here, everyone. Hope it went better for you than mine. Lost a fight with a staircase and ended up in A&E. But okay now. Oh, man. Insane flapjack. That sucks. I <laughs> uh, hope you're doing okay. Uh, Ando is now an organizer. That's cool. You have troops which are not yet assigned, but that's okay. I do, however, want to make sure that you two are going to be here in Saigon. So that we can deploy you to reinforce whoever needs it later. And we shall see if 12 divisions of marines are enough to take out the British in the Far East. Come and start receding. Oh, you know what? The other thing we do have... All of the armor is available too. Although the armor has the problem of being very, very heavy. I don't know how good armor is going to be for taking out Southeast Asia. So I think we kind of keep these guys in our back pocket as the trump card. If resistance somewhere is particularly heavy. Armor can take out the Raj, that's true. Thirteen days more. And I'm also going to need to play with my navy here. I think I'm going to go and divide you in half. We are also going to need to play with your carriers. So in fact, let's keep you together for the moment. Right. Um, I think I'm going to go 20 fighters and 40 bombers. planes to actually deploy this and I think I need to do this in an, in an airbase right I want twenty times Yes. 
And then I want 40... Carrier naval bombers. Times four. Then I want... 50 and 25, I guess. Duplicate, and then 25. No, sorry, 50 for carrier naval bombers. We don't have nearly enough aircraft. Kind of glad I'm doing this now, because then I can hopefully adjust my production a little bit before we go after the Americans. actually assign them. Oh, wait. Using up all of my fuel. Let's see if this assigns them correctly. Well, they're all deploying, so no, it won't. Now it will. They're all going to the cargo, but from there we can sort them out more easily. This is fine. Okay, so... actually a pretty quick way of doing this. And there we go. Carriers are now fully equipped. And I have a feeling we are now going to be told the true amount of damage that we have. We need almost 200 naval bombers and 75 naval fighters. Which is going to require me to build quite a lot more stuff. 